Tensions continue between Developer US2 and local coalition Union United over the development of Union Square. Though the city has reached a covenant with US2, Union United still wants to make sure that they commit to a comprehensive community benefits agreement. Wig Zamor is a co-chair of the Citizens Advisory Committee. We sat down with Wig to get the scoop. So there are a lot of different ways that the community can benefit from development. Um, and some of them will be in a community benefits agreement. We spoke with Evan Cook of Somerville Community Corporation regarding the upcoming development. I am skeptical about how it will help the community because um, yes, I do think development is great. I think re-fortifying the infrastructure of Union Square would be great, but I also know that with redevelopment comes a lot of pricey changes um, to the community, which means higher costs of living, higher rents, um, which means that a lot of people who live here right now will be moved out or displaced. Union United held a press conference on Thursday, April 20th, to speak about what they want from a, com a community benefits agreement. We have an opportunity now to make sure that we have a strong community benefits agreement. That really fights displacement, doesn't just give lip service to fighting displacement, that provides for affordability, that provides for wages that people can live on and afford to house themselves with. So we have to be careful to try to make sure that as we build new buildings, we try to have some affordable places for people to live who don't make a huge amount of money and for people to um, have small businesses that maybe not make quite as much money, but they add character and they add features to the community. So right now, um, Somerville is mostly renters. So I don't know if you live in houses that your parents own or if you rent, but most of the people in Somerville are renters. That's unusual in Massachusetts. Representative Mike Connolly told us his thoughts. You know, the development that's being proposed it, it may be something new for Somerville, but we've seen this kind of development in Boston, we've seen it in Cambridge, and the outcome all too often, again, is that longtime residents and particular renters get, do, yeah. get pushed out of the community. And that is why I think this inclusive community benefits agreement is just absolutely imperative. It makes all the sense in the world. You know, my question to U.S. too, what are you afraid of? Why yes. not come to the table yes. with elected officials, with city officials, and with the community, and with the folks in Union United who have spent years tirelessly organizing and building a very impressive coalition to be the voice of this neighborhood? The developers, of course, want to make money. Um, the community wants community benefits. And the city leaders want to make sure that the city as a whole makes sense. And those don't always align perfectly. So um, one of the questions is whether it's better to um, do things that everybody works together on or whether it's better to kind of fight it out. I don't want this to come as a surprise, but US2 is not doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. <laughs> They're doing it because they want to make money. And that is their right. They're a developer. I think what Mike brought up, uh, what do they have to lose? I think they have money to lose. A lot of the things that we want are gonna come out of their profit margins. I do not have a problem with that. I think they're still gonna make a lot of money. I think currently what's happening is that the people who live here, we're putting our lives into Somerville, we're paying taxes here, and we're basically paying for our own displacement. And I don't think that's right. Yeah. I think Bravo. we can demand a lot more from US2. I think they should negotiate with the community directly. Now I want to be clear, we do need to act, and soon. Development is badly needed in Somerville, as Ben said. We need more commercial space. We need more affordable housing. We need more green and open space. We need to be able to help this city to grow while making sure it works for everyone in the community. But we don't need to rush into a bad deal yeah. that drops a tower of luxury apartments into the square without a plan that ensures a bright future for all of our residents. US2 gets to go back to Chicago when all is said and done in this square. 
but we have to live with the consequences of what happens here. For you news, this is Ainsley, Mia, Stuart, and Tyler.